Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Um, do we have any audio? I, I think. Okay, thank you. Hello, everybody. This is Marilyn, and it's time for the noon edition of Welcome to My World. Um, this is a Friday, which is the 26th of August. This is the last Friday of August. So, I um, I noticed a few things this morning. My goodness, what a busy morning. Uh, for all you um, doubters out there, do you remember what I said yesterday? Because you got lots of clues and lots of help. This was going to do this today. Lots and lots. I said that I had to be out this morning for a while. So what that means in code to you is the Maryland indicator's on. And then we have um, Mrs. Yellen speaking at uh, 10 o'clock. So you know when I say I'm going to be gone, you know darn well there's going to be really good trades. So it happens every time. So I finally I'm trying to tell people when I'm when I have to step away for uh, a couple three hours because that's definitely the time to pay attention. This has been unbelievably volatile this morning. The good news is that all the indices pretty much are on the same page, um, and everything. It, if uh, if you monitor multiple markets, you can see virtually everything uh, is headed down, and the U.S. dollar is going gangbusters the other way. So um, there were there were just an abundance of trades today. It wasn't a matter of uh, of searching. This is why I've been talking about this Jackson Hole meeting with the uh, Brain Trust out there because this tends to get it, um, it 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 tends to get the financial market's attention. So. Uh, the the general consensus about this announcement and her speech and all this other nonsense that they go through is she's trying to set the stage to raise interest rates and i they do this all the time and they talk about oh how wonderful it is somebody made a fabulous comment in here early this morning <laughs> about how the the uh Mrs. Yellen's talking about how the economy is in such a wonderful recovery and the unemployment is so low and blah, blah, blah. And somebody wrote in there and said, that's good to know. I'll tell all my unemployed friends so they know too. Um, anyway, will they raise interest rates? Who knows? At some point they will. I'm not too sure it's going to be any time before December, and even in December, I'm not sure uh, what they're going to do. The um, I'm I'm not sure what's caused this massive turnaround. I mean, clearly there's a lot of profit taking on it, but the other news that hit, and this all hit just about the same time, is that the Yemenis are um, they're putting ballistic missiles into Aram, Aramco uh, facilities, which is the Saudi state-owned oil company, and they're knocking out some things. If they continue to do that and do serious damage, it's going to affect the um, the Saudi oil production. And there is an OPEC uh, meeting coming up. So I don't know why this thing is bouncing. Anyway, so. Uh, you know, I, I mention this from time to time, and I know we get a lot of new people that come in here and they're kind of wondering about why are all you people so fixated on the news? And this is why, because uh, it, it can present some really good trading opportunities, especially for traders like us that are short term. 
very short term. So, um, and, and it was it was everywhere. I mean, there were trades everywhere. You you really didn't have to look very far to find them. I've got something with this new chart I'm trying to learn how to use. There, I hope that did it. Anyway, um, the other thing, while we've got these um, indices markets going down, 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 the VIX is coming up, and it's well over 14. I mean, I think it's it may continue uh, a little bit. It's trading 14, 17 right now. It was up a little higher earlier, so... In the last 52 weeks, it has been from 11.02 to 33.82. And if there's a, a considerable sell-off going on here, uh, that will rise a little bit more. So that's kind of why we monitor the VIX, and today is a, a great example. So... How far down will this go? I don't know, but going into the close this afternoon, uh, there's going to be some profit taking on these short positions. So be aware that if you if you have made your goal for today, enough's enough, and just let it go, because going into the close this afternoon, when some of these contracts start to unwind for the weekend. Uh, you, you don't want to get caught on the wrong side of that stuff. So anyway, um, this weekend, uh, for those of you who trade any treasuries, you're going to need to roll those treasuries over the weekend. Uh, I know we've got some people in here that look at uh, ZB and kind of track that. So let me tell you here in a second. Uh, ZB is going to go to the December, December contract, and the one we're on now is the uh, September. It's got four more days of trading, and so when, when I say days, Saturday and Sunday are two of those. So by Monday, there's only going to be two more days left on that, and I'm inclined to uh, want to start Monday with the new contract. Uh, if you want to wait and see where that volume shakes out, especially after today when it's just... Uh... But I imagine that on Monday, the uh, December contract as this thing unwinds, we'll start to, um, and, and this is the same for all of the the treasuries, there will be some buying that occurs on Monday in the December. So uh, we've got about another, um, I don't know, week or 10 days or something to go before we roll the indices. And then we'll have everything moved over to December, except uh, crude oil, which which that rolls every month. So, and uh, Tony's real good about putting a, a notice into your uh, Ninja Trader. So when you start up, you get a you get a reminder that tells you the Japanese yen is the one that has just. I mean, I can't believe how much that thing has dropped. But anyway, um, on Monday. Monday news at um, 8.30, it's a little bit of uh, U.S. news, not too much else. Monday afternoon, uh, if you trade the these Forex pairs, Sunday night might be a little interesting when the Forex markets open up. There's economic news coming out of Japan for Monday night. But let's see, I don't know about Sunday. Let me check it. Yeah, they don't have anything listed Sunday night. Okay, 
And um, the other thing I wanted to remind you, there's only three more trading days in August, and then we start uh, September, so this will be the going into the last uh, quarter of the year. And if you, this, this weekend especially is a good time, if you're on vacation, fine, but sometime between now and the first couple of days in September, try to uh, spend a little time with your business plan and sit down and evaluate where you've, where you've come from this year and how you want to finish your year and what it's going to take to, uh, to get there. So you've got a, got pretty much your, your fall quarter laid out in front of you and you know what, how many days you have to trade, uh, what your target goals are, and you can, you, once you hit those goals every day, then stop and devote any other trading time that you have to education and to uh, fine tune in your skills. Because that's what this is a, this is a never ending learning process. Also, hopefully within the next uh, week or 10 days, we'll have this new indicator ready to roll out because there's, there's a lot of work happening. Um, there's, there's all kinds of stuff going on and little bugs that are found. And believe me, it's going to be worth the wait to get all those little bitty bugs worked out of there. Um, yes, Chris. I'm a big proponent of having the trading is not a video game and it's not a uh, an entertainment Every, everybody should have a business plan I did a post in the forum on um, you know some guidelines it's kind of a, a broad uh, idea but you must treat your trading as a business if you want this thing to pay you like a business, if you're just messing around and this is a hobby and uh, you're just going to punch a little buttons here and there and, oh, I don't know, maybe you might make a dollar and maybe you might not, then that's fine. <clears throat> but don't, but get real straight with yourself. Don't be telling yourself something else. But I'm a big proponent of having a business plan, treating your trading like a business. And it's very difficult to find a business plan template because this is an individual thing. You don't have employees and you don't have, um, you know, you don't have a brick and mortar uh, building and an office and all this stuff. It's just you and your computer. But you must treat this like a business if you expect to be paid. So. Uh, you can, uh, there are assorted and sundry ideas for business plans. I put a, a post or two or something or other in the, in the um, forum and, and you need to lay out, I mean, what are you really doing this for? So you have to have established goals and established uh, targets and and yes, and Daryl did a great risk management because that's the key to the whole thing. But I, I'm i very big about getting a big picture and then drilling down into what do I need to do now. And it'll keep you on track. And it also will help you step away when you're done. Just step away and walk away from it. Because if you keep on keeping on keeping on, um, that's how most people get into a lot of trouble. They don't really have a laid out, um, you know, it's um, kind of like a, a a list, and then they start wandering off the reservation somewhere, and the wild animals come out and jump all over them and bite them, and they say, you know what, I don't like this very much. So, anyway. Let's see, I think that's about it. Um, I can't think of anything else, so we'll start this next week. I don't expect much volume. 
I really don't expect much volume. But I hope everybody uh, paid real good attention when, when these feds start talking, uh, the market will respond almost every time. And sometimes it's a serious response fast. 